hockey player refuses to put on a pride jersey for this reason. The decision you made is for religious purposes. Can you uh, expand on that a little bit? Yeah, I, uh, I respect everybody and I respect everybody's choices. My choice is to stay true to myself and my religion. That's all I'm going to say. And watch what this news reporter had to say about Ivan, the hockey player's choice. Radical woke mob is up in arms. They're furious. This is not good enough. Hockey is for everyone, dot, 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 unless, unless you don't agree with gay rights is not the phrasing of this. You're either in this or you're not. Nothing scares me more than any human being who says, I'm not doing this because of my religious beliefs. They say that publicly, you throw up at what you saw. It's coming to a point where we have to question, is free speech really free speech? Or does it go out the window when I speak about biblical principles? The message is loud and clear. Provorov's move is supported and his jersey now is completely sold out on the NHL. So that you don't have to bow down to the system, his jersey still sold out. And you don't have to, you don't have to come in agreement with, with the alphabet community. You don't have to come in agreement with everything they do. You know, we love them, we care for them, we want them to be saved, but we do not agree with sin. And that's point blank. At the end of the day, it's bigger than not wearing a jersey. It's a demonic assignment that if you don't agree with us, we will be against you. But I know for us, for the body of Christ, for believers, for Christians, that if God is for us, who can be against us? It doesn't matter if this demonic virus is creeping into the NBA, the NFL, the, the, N8, the NHL. It does not matter. We stand on biblical principles until the day we die. We know that we have to stand firm in the word of God. Those words that's written in red, it stands firm to the day of redemption.